Hi, it's Kelly here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about two things. Uh, one is how the negative experiences you've had in your life, the traumas, actually have the potential in them to be your greatest positives. The greatest positives. And the second thing I want to talk to you about is how do you take those things that appear to be coated in, in heavy steel and have them evaporate like vapor instantly. So we're going to talk about both of those things as a follow-up to the previous video that I made. Um, and by the way, I also want to mention once again, if you want to know why I'm wearing these pearls, it's for health reasons, it's for the joints. I made a video about it two videos ago, about five days ago. So if you're interested in that, you can, you can find out about that as well. All right. So everybody has had, you know, bad stuff happen and good stuff happen. And some of them are minor, minor, minor. You know, for example, I, I had laundry to fall, you know, to get out of the washing machine and hang up, you know, to dry. Uh, I do that, I hang it up, put, put fan blowing on it because I don't have a dryer. Um, and, you know, it's, it's more physical work, blah, blah, blah. So this time it became like I was grateful to God that I hear I've got these clothing. And, and the beautiful thing about something like that is that even if I didn't think of it at the time, let's say you're doing your laundry or, or, or whatever it is that you don't like, um, and you think about it later and you go, oh, heck, I could have I been feeling grateful to God at that time. Well, you can do it right then. Or you are, once you make that awareness, you're already doing it. So it's never too late for that to be transformed into an instant upliftment of praising God, which frees you up in any kind of ways, as I mentioned, uh, the, the gentleman, Mr. Murray, whose name I still don't know. If you've seen that video, it was passed along to me recently about this artist sculptor uh, who did the sculpture for the Four Freedoms and, and met with both Franklin Roosevelt and Teddy Roosevelt and Mark Twain and I believe Tesla and others. Um, please send me the, the name or the video because I really want to know his full name. Um, so we want to get that blessing going because it instantly frees us up to receive because then now we're in the land of the land of miracles and we're not beholden to the laws of cause and effect where we think well I can't I can't get this money or I can't get that because you know I only have a you know high school education and and uh, you know and my job right now is such and my health is so is so and so and blah 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 and I, I have a child who, who needs my care all the time whatever it is you know it doesn't matter um, let me give you a really good example of this um, when you're driving down let's say 20 years ago you were you know a drunk was on the road and they cut you off and not only did they cut you off but they hit your car and as a result of that somebody in your family became injured or even it was, you know, passed away, died. Um, and you have, that's, you have solid physical evidence of a negative experience. And that relative of yours, or maybe it's yourself, maybe, maybe you now have a limp, you know, and arthritis and daily pain and all of that. And so now you have even more evidence about the negative experience, correct? Is it, is it, I mean, is that, am I talking sense here? Um, so it's like, well, uh, yeah, and so now how do I get out of that? Oh, and by the way, what you do now, so you're driving down the road 20 years later and somebody, whether they're drunk or not, almost cuts you off and you slam on the brakes and avoid the collision. But guess what memory it brings up, either consciously or, or, or subconsciously, that your reaction to it is going to be the same as you had with that big one, right? So you got even more evidence and, and, and a reminder of that. Um, so how is it that that negative experience, which gets repeated because you know people, we get we all get cut off from time to time, or somebody is rude to us, maybe somebody was blatantly selfish, or or maybe it's a you know he said she said 
they don't think they're selfish, you think they are, and all that matters is what you think about it, causing a negative cycle going on. You know, these things ha all, all happen, 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 happen. Um, let me give you a, a, a really good example of myself. I wanted to make this video, and it was like, oh no, I gotta go to the bathroom, that's gonna delay what's going on here. So I could have sat there and been upset about it, or I could go, thank you God, for allowing my body to go through its normal processes so that it can stay healthy. Thank you. And you are the best for creating us that way. See, and I could do that at the time that it happens, or I could do it right now. You see how that works? So, anyway, um, so you've got these these experiences. And, and if we look at, well, how do we get out of it? And how do we how do we know that it's that it's that the worst things that happen to us are the things that are potentially the the greatest benefits to us? How 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 how? Well, if you look at any biography of any famous person, the story of their life, there'll be some incident that has occurred that was really really challenging to them. You know, I mean, some stories are just mind blowing, right? You know, homeless, blah 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 blah. Um, uh, you know, uh, J.K. Rowling was in England, was living on on welfare, uh, very poor, very very poor. She was writing her books in a you know coffee shop or something, and and uh, so you know that was pretty rough. But anyway, you know, look at how you know now she's a billionaire, and um, so anyway. It's always a negative thing that, that transformed their life. It was like a slap in the face and it allowed them, enabled them to go on to do something else. It's not, the story isn't, well, when they were 16, their parents gave them a brand new car. You know, that doesn't happen. And it's not, it's not the things that we do every day. You know, maybe you remember what you ate for breakfast yesterday. Maybe you don't. You know, those things aren't the things that move us. Um, but it's those negative things that get transformed into the great things. And why is that? Be and it's because those negative thoughts are buried in our brain, whereas we can't remember what we had for breakfast last week or last month unless you eat the same thing every day. You know, but you get the idea. So you have that thing in your brain. It's really in there. And so it's... It's, it's one of those dots that can be connected. And so then, maybe not right away do you, does that person turn it around, but something else connects with it, and 20 years later, it's like, boom! Their life changes because they connected the dots, because they have those memorable things that they're able to evaporate and make it, and make it into something positive. So the, the, the more serious, the, the more intense those memories are, or those, in, those traumas are, the more likely they are to become the dots that you connect in order to straighten out your life. But the, the thing is, the, the more intense they are, it's like, well, how do I, you know, these are double-coated steel, triple-coated steel. How do I turn them into, you know, just evaporate? Imagine steel melting and, and, and floating up rather than sinking down, right? How do you do that? Well, God designed you to do it and to do it instantaneously. And there is a method to it, and it's in my book. And I can't emphasize enough how fast it works. It works like that, right? And the beautiful thing is you don't have to revisit the horrible things that have happened because our reactions to the minor things are almost always identical to, to the, the major thing. So if somebody cuts you off today or somebody you know, bumps their cart into you at the, at, at the grocery store or into your ankle or whatever it is, you know, something more minor, you can heal that with the question that's in the book, is there a question that heals instantly and be free. So I'll, I'll leave a link down below so that you can get it. The book's exclusively available on Amazon. Um, so my, 
hope is is that by you doing this, you're gonna you're gonna tr transform your life. It's gonna transform your family because now now you have the key. How do you get to the joy? How do you get to the praise instantly? So you have a way to do it because it's hard. Okay, you know. Okay, I'm supposed to praise God and I'm supposed to feel joy and, and be grateful instantly. But I got this metal ball sitting there in my chest or in my shoulders or wherever it is you know and it won't budge and it's got sharp points on it you know what I mean so by by using the tool that's in that in my book it will free you up so it get it 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 assists you to take the biggest traumas to turn them into your biggest victories and it's automatic your brain is hardwired to do it God made us this way it works by asking a question you're going to be freeing yourself from the negativity to a place of a neutral place and the question is very specific so that you will be focusing on God gratitude and all of that whereas the, the, where again that's the land of miracles as opposed to the land of cause and effect and it's been happening for me and for a dear friend of mine, you might have seen the message I put up on my Facebook timeline. Uh, her situation w was very dire, very dire. Uh, she can tell you what that is possibly if, if she wants to, but it was, she was up against the deadline and it looks like it's been re resolved about 180 degrees. So we are, it worked for her and it's working for me. And it's all happened in the last few days. So God bless you. And uh, let's, let's turn this world around. In the book, there are four chapters, short chapters that have different aspects talking about the heartfelt energizer. Because that will make it easier for you to um, not be distracted. Uh, uh, David Allen, a DBA generic, he left a comment as well under my last video on, uh, that I put on Facebook saying how using the discs, just by putting them on his body, he got over nausea that came up on him two or three times in one day. And he put them on and it took care of it. Um, so it's, it's pretty phenomenal. We're, we, are, we are changing the world faster than you can ever believe. And you're a big part of it. And you're gonna, ha you're gonna have this tool personally so that even when the outer world looks like it's a disaster, you can transform each and every time you have one of those thoughts into your victory. Will you take care and God bless.